He is known for his deism, a philosophical belief that human reason can discover knowledge of God and ethics through the study of nature and oneself, eliminating the need for revealed religions. He is recognized for being the first influential critic to question the supernatural origins of Christianity and to investigate the historical Jesus. Hermann Samuel Riemarus In the 18th century, a German philosopher named Hermann Samuel Riemarus emerged as a prominent figure of the Enlightenment. His radical ideas challenged the traditional beliefs of his time and paved the way for a new way of thinking. Riemarus was a staunch proponent of deism, a philosophy that rejected the supernatural origins of religion and instead emphasized the power of human reason. Riemarus boldly proclaimed that Christianity, the dominant religion of his era, was not based on divine revelation but rather on human invention. He fervently denied the supernatural origin of Christianity, asserting that it could be explained through a rational examination of historical evidence. According to Riemarus, Jesus, whom he regarded as a mortal Jewish prophet, did not intend to establish a new religion. Instead, it was the apostles who, after Jesus' death, founded Christianity as a separate entity from Jesus' own teachings. Riemarus' groundbreaking ideas challenged the prevailing religious dogmas of his time and sparked a wave of intellectual discourse. His critical approach to Christianity and his exploration of the historical Jesus laid the foundation for future biblical scholarship. By using reason and historical analysis, Riemarus sought to unveil the true nature of religion and provide an alternative perspective to the traditional religious beliefs of his era. Hermann Samuel Riemarus, a renowned philosopher and scholar, dedicated his life to the pursuit of knowledge and understanding. Growing up under the guidance of his father and the esteemed scholar J. A. Fabricius, Riemarus developed a deep passion for theology, ancient languages, and philosophy. His thirst for knowledge led him to the prestigious University of Jena, where he further honed his intellectual prowess. After completing his studies, Riemarus embarked on a journey of exploration, visiting the Netherlands and England to broaden his horizons. In 1723, he found himself as the rector of the high school in Wismar, and four years later, he returned to his hometown of Hamburg as a professor of Hebrew and Oriental languages. Despite receiving tempting offers from other institutions, Riemarus remained dedicated to his post until his untimely death. Riemarus's influence extended far beyond the walls of academia. His house became a hub of intellectual and artistic culture in Hamburg, serving as a meeting place for learned and artistic societies that he helped establish. His impact was so profound that even today, the Hauster Patriotischen Gesellschaft stands as a testament to his legacy. In addition to his scholarly pursuits, Riemarus was a devoted family man. He had seven children, though only three survived him. One of his daughters, Elise Riemarus, became a close friend and correspondent of the esteemed writer and philosopher, Lessing. As we reflect on Riemarus's life and contributions, we are reminded of the importance of lifelong learning and intellectual curiosity. Riemarus's dedication to various disciplines, including philology, mathematics, philosophy, and natural history, serves as an inspiration for us to continuously seek knowledge and expand our horizons. His commitment to fostering intellectual and artistic communities also reminds us of the value of creating spaces where ideas can flourish and society can thrive. Hermann Samuel Riemarus, a renowned scholar of his time, made significant contributions to theological science and the analysis of the historical Jesus. His unpublished work, Apology oder Schutzschrift für die Vernunftigen Verrere Gotts, later published as Fragments by an Anonymous Writer, sparked what is now known as the Fragmententstreit, marking the beginning of critical research on the historical Jesus. In his analysis, Riemarus highlighted the disparities between the teachings of Jesus and those of the Apostles, identifying Jesus as a Jewish preacher who prophesied the advent of a worldly kingdom. This perspective, which still holds weight in modern scholarship, challenges traditional interpretations of Jesus' message. Riemarus went even further, considering Christianity itself to be a fabrication. Riemarus' philosophical stance aligned with that of Christian Wolff, but it was his apology that gained him recognition. The work, as later published by Lessing, presented a pure naturalistic deistic viewpoint. Miracles and mysteries were rejected, and natural religion was upheld as the ultimate contradiction of revealed religion. Reason, according to Riemarus, could ascertain the existence of a wise and benevolent creator and the immortality of the soul, forming the foundation of a universal religion. Yet Riemarus critiqued the Bible as a flawed representation of true revelation. He claimed it was riddled with errors, contradicted human experience, reason, and morals, and exhibited folly, deceit, enthusiasm, selfishness, and even crime. Riemarus argued that the writers of the New Testament, including Jesus himself, were more concerned with advancing their own selfish ambitions than teaching true rational religion. He saw their actions as a perplexing combination of conscious fraud and enthusiasm. 
It is worth noting that Riamaris did not limit his criticisms to Christianity alone, he also vehemently opposed atheism. His work aimed to challenge prevailing religious beliefs and encourage a deeper understanding of divinity based on reason and critical analysis. Riamaris's contributions to the study of the historical Jesus and his thought-provoking analysis of Christianity's origins continue to influence modern scholarship. His work reminds us of the importance of questioning established beliefs, engaging in rigorous intellectual inquiry, and seeking a deeper understanding of religion and its impact on our lives. Hermann Samuel Riamaris, a philosopher and theologian of the 18th century, had a unique perspective on divinity and religion. His philosophy centered around the belief that God is the creator of the world, and his wisdom and goodness are evident in it. Riamaris argued that immortality is rooted in the essential nature of humanity and the purpose of God's creation. For him, religion was not only a source of happiness but also the key to finding true satisfaction in life. Riamaris believed that miracles were contradictory to the divine purpose. He saw them as being at odds with the natural order of things and believed that without miracles, there could be no true revelation. His views on miracles challenged traditional religious beliefs and opened up new ways of thinking about divine intervention. Despite his unique perspective, Riamaris's works garnered recognition and praise from scholars. Albert Schweitzer, a renowned theologian, described Riamaris's essay on The Aims of Jesus and His Disciples as a masterpiece of literature and one of the greatest events in the history of criticism. Schweitzer also credited Riamaris as the initiator of Lives of Jesus Research, honoring him for recognizing the eschatological nature of Jesus' thought world. Riamaris's philosophy may seem complex, but it offers valuable insights for our daily lives. His emphasis on finding happiness and satisfaction through religion reminds us of the importance of spirituality in our pursuit of meaning. His skepticism towards miracles challenges us to critically examine our beliefs and seek a deeper understanding of divine intervention. Riamaris's philosophy remains relevant today as we navigate the complexities of faith and seek new ways to understand the divine. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.